This video goes out to Marshall, they're mad, there's over there, Marshall over there, Marshall, Eminem over there. Yeah, it's like, you know, and people say what I said as well, it's like, you know, it says, fuck, you know, uh, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, it was a one video, I saw on YouTube, it was an interview, I don't know who said it, I think it was his wife, Kim Mathers over there, by the way, you know, I, I'm not, a, you know, a cruel mean person, but fuck, you have some grievance to you and your fucking family, Marshall. Alright, you're not gonna fucking find me in person unless, you know, uh, you and your little boy band that fucking, you know, uh, I'm personally, I'm gonna say I'm Tony Romo and, you know, this and the other thing, who are you? And then you put that, you know, little fucking, you know, uh, little video over there. Well, it's Atlantic City was it like, what, 2004, 5? Before that came out. But, you know, it's in the of that. And then your other stuff with Marshall. Creepy ass fucking idiot. But I, it was an interview and his wife said something about his daughter. And it, or their daughter actually, <laughs> his daughter, their daughter. And it's like she just like one that she said like you know, oh you don't say good night to me. She called her, said you don't say good night to me. And I was like, what in the fuck is going on? But this is no channel. Man. There was someone I had a Yahoo chat and someone that wrote me emails, and the email was a, a daughter. I, I think she, had, I don't think she admitted she was a, uh, she knew uh, she was Eminem's marshal, their daughter. But I don't know if I sensed or challenged stuff like that. I picked it up. But I forgot it along the way. I was meant to show a lot of stuff. Till I saw the interview and Kim Manager said, she said, oh, she called me. She said, why don't you say goodnight to me, this and the other thing. And I remember talking to someone in email, not even who chat. In email, I said, oh, my mother, you know, she's like, it's been years. Like, you know, she always just say, oh, goodnight, this and the other thing, goodnight. She was, you know, I lived in the attic. She lived downstairs. And if it just stopped. And I think I, I think I was drinking this and the other thing, and I just said that shit. And I think she said the same thing about her mother. And it was another person, yeah, we chat. I think that was a uh, Marshall Eminem. And I was like, you know, I was saying some things, and like he didn't even you know what a joke I was talking about. I think it was a Dave Chappelle skit or some uh, some well known comedian. And then I picked it up, like he didn't fucking know that. So that's how I put it out. Like, he would just fucking you know, contact me on Yahoo chat, email, and it's like, listen, why the fuck are you talking to me? I mean, 14, 15 year old, I uh, kind of tripped off a bus a little, and then I saw it in his video, one of his first videos, and shit. Why the fuck, you know, you want to, like, you know, like, ridicule me, and then you and your daughter want to talk to me or some shit. And it's like, who people believe me, but I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, like, you know, oh, uh, you know, uh, fucking stand myself for Marshall, or whatever, fucking old turn goes around and shit. Probably stole that shit too, like, I kind of, ah, maybe not, right? Because somebody else was trying to say that too. But fucking, uh, yeah, Marshall over there, yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, it's like fucking, you know, like, you know, behind the scenes, like, first of all, your daughter's, like, underage, dude. <laughs> it's like, why, why the fuck she talking to me? Were you guys in the same room and stuff like that? Were you writing to him? Because I don't think she, like, she said, I won't let my dad read it, actually. And it wasn't really nasty, disgusting stuff like that, I believe. I was, I, I didn't know who she looked, she would look like she was, actually. I don't know if she even told me she was underage. She might actually told me she was 18. You know, I don't know. It's like I would have felt odd of like, all right, it's like a pen pal, but it's like, well, it's just odd. So it's neither here nor there. But it's like, why the fuck you and your daughter fuck? You know, like stalking me or fucking, you know, uh, getting me on fucking, you know, you're there on block TV or something like that. What the fuck are you gonna do, man? And I'm like, you know, uh, I his friend there. Uh, you know, I guess he got you know a, pr a proof. Yeah, that, that was another thing that I have. I already talked about that. I just, you know, I respect to know where the fuck I am. You know? Yeah, the gay little fucking community and shit. You know, just to keep fucking what? Uh, photographs of your mom in your way, right? Hey, it's not my fucking bit. Maybe you fucking saw all that about your mom. I mean, it was a couple, three hours people started talking about it, you know? Like, uh, you know. Uh, I'm just gonna let that let this video go, but yeah. It just another person of the, you know, uh, uh, not just celebrity culture, a well-known person that, you know, tried to degrade me, and, uh, and also, yeah, my cousin there, Lucas, Luke, Lucas, he should have fucking, you know, uh, said something, it was one uh, 1.5 New Jersey, uh, radio station, I, I don't know if they had the same <coughs> number back in the 90s, but Lucas was a time trialer, right, he, he leaked, like people say, <coughs> for, to 86, so he, he heard uh, Marshall Mathers' uh, second uh, uh, album, uh, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's, had, it's, it's called Song Stand. And it had a couple other songs. Uh, me and him, we, we kind of liked it. 
he actually went on radio. He said, oh, his second album will be, like, probably the best ever. Like, you know, not best ever, but it'll be so good. And that was after his second album. I guess he got negative criticism. So he knew who, I, get, I don't know if he recorded it. He knew it was going to be good. I don't, know, I, remember, I don't have memory if he met, look. He probably would have treated like me, or maybe he got disrespect or something like that. Because there was a, I remember, you know, it was a 2000, actually. I, I don't know, it was, uh, uh, no, actually, it was a 99, October of 99. I think it was then. It was before Luke passed away. And I'm pretty sure Marshall was in Connecticut. And Rage Against the Machine had a show. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I, and I said, people say, man, I think I channel. And it was Ken Kniff. And I was like, you know, hey, man. So that I bet I was talking. It wasn't like the whole skit like he had. It was a couple of things. And I kind of, <laughs> kind of sense how he really fucking was like, so it is so. And I, I, I try to make fun of him. And it's like, you know, and then like, you know, he, nothing really bad happened, but it's like, I don't know, me and I was just with this kid Jimmy over there. And we went on uh, like a bus to from that stadium to the car. I don't remember too much, but later in all, I think he actually used it for like his skit uh, like, and multiple albums and stuff like that. But it's like, it's like you stole from me, like I'm chatting with somebody and shit. Just like, why the fuck you follow me, Marshall? 